Hello everyone and welcome back to Gamer Bargains. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to update your NVIDIA drivers through Hive OS in case you're having maybe some stability issues and you know other things like that. Um, now I'm a fairly new miner, so um, I did some research and it seems like the AMD drivers do not need to be updated as frequently as the NVIDIA drivers do. Usually they, they get updated with the image when they do like a new actual Hive OS, um, you know, update. So um, anyways, we're going to be, um, we're gonna be covering how to update your NVIDIA drivers, you know, for like your GTX, you know, 10 series, 16 series, 30 series, 20 series. It's all relatively the same and it's extremely easy. So um, I'm gonna show you this real simple way on how to do it. So let's uh, check it out right now. Now, here we are in my hive and we are in my, um, this is my new rig. So you, you guys remember that I have one RTX 3070 and I did actually acquire four GTX 1660 supers. So I have them all um, mining on one rig right now, and um, I'll get a I'll get a video of that up soon. I use my cheap ten dollar mining frame um, for this build, so if you remember that video, that's exactly what I have all these cards on right now. So, um, so it's ex it's extremely easy to do this. So you're gonna come over here, and you're gonna do and your IP will be different than mine. You, you'll have a different IP address and all that other stuff. Um, so you guys won't have the same numbers and all that other crap as I do because my other rig has different numbers too. It's all set up just for you. So what you need to do is, is come over here and just hover over this, over this IP and it'll say connect to via shell in a box. So you would click here. And now it's going to bring you into this login. This is the name of my rig, right? And, you know, the default is user and password one. Now you won't see the password. The cursor, it will not, you know, keep filling up as you type. So it'll just stay in that single one. You'll hit enter. And now you're actually viewing uh, the miner right now, you know, as it is right now. So. This is where you could do a lot of commands. You can run, you could do, um, you could actually go in and see what the miner's actually doing right now as it's mining and, t you know, I have mine in T-Rex right now, so you could see it, it, you know, has all my temperatures right here, my percentage on my fans and, you know, all that other stuff. Now, the reason I had to do this is, is because, um, as you see, my NVIDIA driver up here is 460.73.01. And I was having some issues with some of these 1660 supers. And these are the 1660 supers, the PNYs that are from Best Buy. And um, I'm sure they're probably older or they probably sat somewhere for a while and someone got a hold of them, whatever. And they were like 4.5 point whatever. So they were quite out of date. Um, so I was having these things not even show up as 1660 supers. They were showing up as like, TU 116 uh, GTX 1660 Super. So, and they weren't mining. So, I was having problems. So, I had to update my drivers. So, what you could do is, is if you want to um, actually see um, a list, which you don't see this command here, and I'll show it to you. So, you go NVIDIA, NVIDIA dash driver dash update space dash dash list and hit enter nvidia dash driver dash update dash dash list what NVIDIA dash driver dash update 
space dash dash list. There we go. So when you do this command, it will bring up a list of you know all their all the drivers that Hive OS actually has on um, for NVIDIA. And down here, it will tell you in this bottom corner right here, this will tell you a stable version, which is what I chose. Um, and then, you know, these are, this is what I downloaded and this is what's installed. And then you could even, you know, you can go above that. See, this is where my version is. And these are the other versions that they have. So, but this is the stable version, so I would prefer to stay with a stable version than maybe something that might give me problems, especially since I'm running different cards here. I'm running 130 series and, you know, 416 series. Now, if you want to install a particular version, you can always, you can always do this command up here, too. Go to, you can always type in NVIDIA dash driver dash update version to update to the latest or specific version and then you could type in this but when you click up when you hit update it'll it'll take you directly to you know this one right here now if you only want a particular version let's say you want you know this this was my version i was on was 4.50.57 so let's say you want four six zero you know point three point two you would just type in four zero point uh three two dot zero three and then hit enter and then that would download and install the driver that you particularly wanted so you don't have to use um you don't have to have the up-to-date one i chose to do a stable one um so obviously there's been some testing and other things like that where they found that this 4.60.73.01 was the most stable version for them to use to mine on. So um, that's what I would prefer to use. Now, um, I'm not going to go over any more of the other commands, but if you know if you want to do, you could you could always. There's tons of other commands up here. You have the miner start and stop and restart. You know, you could do the upgrade here. You could, you could pretty much, you could see everything and do everything from this. This is like a remote access to your miner. Um, so, so yeah, that's that's how you update your NVIDIA drivers. This is going to be a super, you know, uh, quick video, but um, I do want to give a little bit of update of what's going on. So. I got about four more days and then I'm going to go back to my old house to go get it ready to sell. And then so I'll be gone for uh, about two weeks. So I won't have uh, any videos up. But um, I am going to kick off another video. Hopefully sometime I'm going to probably record it tomorrow and I'll upload it on Tuesday. Um, everybody's really been into Chia mining and um you know i'm a miner and, and i love computers so um i have some extra hardware laying around so um uh, i have an um a ryzen 1600 af that i have on hand that's just not being used i have a mini itx case that's not being used i have a 450 modular power supply that i could put in there so i ended up buying some ram a two terabyte nvme and uh and an eight terabyte enterprise seagate um hard drive now i will give you more reasons why i went with the enterprise uh hard drive for chia mining uh in that video um so another thing that's coming up is probably later down the road is i also bought one of the i don't know if you, how you pronounce it a rock a rake rack whatever um helium miner um i bought one and but it's not going to be here for quite some time it should be shipped in september so i have quite a bit of a wait on that so we do have th some things coming in i have another um server power supply coming in from parallel miner 
Um, I'm going to be switching some rigs around because I'm making more room to actually have another, uh, another, I'm probably going to do a, a six by uh, GTX 1660 super rig, um, some more PNY. So uh, I have a guy here who's locally, who's always having the PNYs and he only charges me a hundred bucks on top of the regular MSRP. So I got a pretty good, uh, relatively good deal compared to most people because you usually pay double for all your graphics cards. So I don't pay too much because he knows I buy, you know, more than just one at a time. So, um, so yeah, I'll be, I'm going to have another rig build coming up soon. Um, probably going to have another budget, uh, gaming PC build coming up. So we got some stuff coming up in the future. Um, just want to give you guys kind of an update. So, um, yeah, we got a lot of projects in the works right now. Um, so anyways, uh, it was fun, and I hope to see you next time.